Hi, Ben here and welcome back to the workshop. And I'm just gonna show you a very simple technique on if you've made the error of drilling the wrong size hole in your knife blade or piece of tool steel before heat treatment, you've suddenly realized that you've made your holes too small. Obviously, if you try and use a normal drill bit to make that hole bigger, you're just gonna break that drill bit. So you can buy very expensive carbide uh, drill bits, but I found that if you actually buy these uh, drill bits from they're made by Bosch and they're basically called multi-material drill bits. So they look like a masonry drill, but they're designed for drilling steel, tiles. They say that you can drill wood with it. I don't know how effective that is, but they're fantastic. They've got little carbide inserts and you can get them in pretty good sizes. I mean, obviously you've not got the whole range of drill sizes, but you can pretty much find the drill that you need. This is actually a 6.5 mil. So this is perfect if I haven't drilled my lanyard hole in it the right size I can actually make them bigger with this now the only thing that I have found with these multimedia drills is you need to run them really fast so I actually tend to use one of my mini machines just because the RPM is higher I think you probably need at least 2,000 two and a half thousand RPM to actually get these to work if you use them any slower than that you'll find that you just break those carbide tips off so I've got a 6.5 mil chucked up in the the milling machine at the moment i've got a little one two three block in my vice and you could clamp it if you wanted to um because there is a fear obviously if it snatches you might actually put uh <laughs> you might end up propeller in the blade round but i'm quite happy that i like to be able to sort of locate the hole and i've just got a little bolt in there which will prevent the blade from spinning if if i if it does sort of grab and start to propeller so i'm just going to show you this has got a four mil hole in this blade at the moment we're going to go through with the 6.5 and make that bigger it will get pretty hot you'll actually get sort of uh, red hot steel coming off it so make sure you're not too fearful about getting burns on your hands don't wear gloves gloves and drills are a bad bad combination um, and I'm just going to check that this drill will pass through my one two three block which it does so I don't want to collide into there and we'll line up our, our uh, blade and we'll fire up the mill. So it's running pretty fast. And I'm gonna line it up on that hole, hold it loose so that you can sort of get it to find where it needs to go. And then start to drill through. So there you go. So it actually didn't go as red as it normally does, but we've managed to drill all the way through that hardened piece of steel and I've still got the edges on my drill bit. So pretty effective. Obviously I know a lot of dudes that if they drill the wrong size holes, they start trying to anneal the tang with a blowtorch and things like that and end up with a whole heap load of trouble. So these multimedia drill bits are fantastic. Just make sure you've got some eye protection on more than anything because those hot shards coming off the, the drill bit are pretty dodgy. But hopefully that will help any of you that have got that same mistake that I made in the early days of getting so excited about getting your knife into heat treat that you've got the wrong sized holes in it. So yeah, hope that helps and tune in next time for some more knife making top tips.